Yes, and so we are continuing with question number four. Let me now read the question number four first, and after that I will solve it. Okay. But the question four says, question four says that three pipes A, B, and C can fill a system in six hours completely. Okay. Or all the three working together can fill a system in six hours. This is given to us. After working together for two hours. C is closed. The third pipe C is closed, and after that A and B fill the system in eight hours. Time is given. That A and B after that fill the tank or fill the system in eight hours, and find the time in which the system can be filled by pipe C, by the tap C or pipe C. Okay, by pipe C. No problem. That I written down here. Then find the uh, time in which. The system can be filled by pipe C. What is given? Three pipes A, B, and C can fill a system in six hours. After working together for two hours, C is closed and A and B fill the system in eight hours. Okay, now let me solve it. Solution. So the work done. Or portion of the system of the system filled by the three the three pipes working for two hours. Or opening for two hours, working or opening for two hours. So what, what portion of the system is filled? Let me find out that. So that will give us that is twice into 1.6 is the rate. So this is the portion. This is 1.3 portion. Two and two and two three. Yeah? Six one point three portion is filled. Now the left over portion of the tank or sorry of the system in this case of the system is equal to one minus two point three. Sorry, one point three. Sorry. This is 1.3 is filled. So one minus complete portion is one, and after that one minus uh, 1.3 is the remaining portion. So this will give us two by three. This portion is to be filled by A and is is filled by A and B in eight hours. So what is total time taken by A and B? So this portion, this. Portion or part over one three of the system of the system is it filled by A plus B, A and B together together in eight hours. After only this portion, the total portion will be filled in how many hours? Hence, the total tank, or sorry, in this case system, that we have system E, the total or full system, and the total system or full system is full. Full system, not total tank, but full system. Will be filled. Will be filled by them. Will be filled by them. Eight upon two upon three. The portion is filled. Or we could say this is eight into three by two. Three will come in the numerator. This is how much? Twenty four upon two. A plus B could fill it in two hours. This is two hours. Okay, so they could full fill isolately A and B together 
I should think not I should think, but together A and B could fill in 12 hours. Now A plus B is given that they, they can fill the tank in 12 hours and A plus B plus C all the three can fill that in 6 hours so we can find out how uh, in how many hours C can fill the tank. Now let me find Therefore C can fill the tank and C can sorry, this is C can fill the tank can fill the tank this is system answer fill the system in first is A plus B plus C is time minus A plus B is time right or not time but rate so for time we can say time so C is time will be can the fill, fill the system in 6 into 12 12, 12 minus 6 equal to how much 6 into 12 divided by 6 12 minus 6 is 6 how it is that if we have to find out difference this is 1.6 difference this is 1.12 difference right then time is to be calculated so time is reversed this is rate here if I find the rate of this this is time we have calculated this is 12 sorry 6 hours this is 12 hours it is taken so the total time calculated for C will be this the difference will be there then in the denominator we put the difference 12 minus 6 which is how much C can fill out only 12 hours so C can C alone can fill that time in 6 hours sorry in 12 hours this is the answer question number this 4 we have completed right and this is the answer so C alone can fill the tank in 12 hours or we can say therefore C alone can fill the tank can fill the system I always say tank 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 ok no can fill the system in 12 hours ok this is the answer here the question number 4 computer now let me talk about question number 5 so what does question number 5 say let me first read it and then solve it now question number 5 let me write here what is given to us ok question 5 says a tank is normally filled in 8 hours but takes 2 hours longer for it to fill because of a leak in its bottom alright it means it takes 10 hours then if the system is full in how many hours will the leak empty it so leak will empty it in how many hours we have to find out now in this case we are given the tank is normally filled in 8 hours but with the leak it is being filled in 2 hours more that means in 10 hours if we can find it in how many hours the leak will empty it that will find out so let me write here a tank now tank has come so if tank is sorry I am writing it not ok a tank is normally filled a tank is normally filled in 8 hours ok is normally filled in 8 hours but takes 2 hours longer if leak is open or with the leak take 2 hours longer to fill because of a leak 2 hours longer because of a leak alright because of a leak right in its bottom leak in its bottom ok this is best wipe here if the system is full or if the system if the system is 
full is full then to find in how many hours will the leak and update okay so to find to find in how many hours in how many hours in how many hours will the leak will the leak empty it solution now try to understand whenever one is empty tank other is filling so one is filler pipe other is uh, M empty tank pipe or empty pipe right or empty tap in this case we have to just find out that because the uh, okay difference is there so difference if it's given to us so we have to just multiply the two times 8 into 10 divided by 10 minus 8 the time of leaking pipe can be calculated so the leak the tank can be can be emptied or emptied by the leak pipe by the leak only not leak in the bottom by the leak in the bottom how do you find out that you just multiply this 8 into 10 so 10 hours are taken uh, when leak is open and this is filling filling tank is taking 8 hours leak is with leak it is taking 10 hours and the denominator will have 10 minus 8 okay so this is the process I've told you that you suppose the leak is emptying the uh, okay uh, system of tank in this case in y hours and uh, and the pipe filler pipe is filling it in or is filling it up in, in x hours 1.x minus 1.y this is the, the ratings per hour or per minute whatever and then we have just find out this is this will give us y minus x upon x into y lcm reverse it x by upon y minus x is the timing okay in which the tank will be filled or tank can be leaked okay okay can be emptied in this case if only leak is there in this case the timings can be kept this is 80 upon 2 40 hours in 40 hours the leak can empty it this down in 40 hours and the tank can be the tank can be emptied can be emptied in 40 hours in 40 hours by the leak by the leak in the bottom okay so this is on simple question so let us say question number six what so what does question number six say let me check that and then solve it so question number six let us talk about what is given to us let me first write and first read it and then write it here question number six says that a tank has a leak okay it would empty it in eight hours is a leaking and uh, a tap is turned on which admits six liters a minute six liters a minute into the tank and it is now emptied in 12 hours all right so it, it means when because leak is having less time leak is faster because the leak is having eight hours <coughs> a tank has a leak which would empty it in eight hours the tap is turned on which admits six liters a minute into the tank and it is now emptied in 12 hours okay so when leak is on, on and the filler tank is also on then it's taking how many hours okay how many liters does the tank hold so total capacity we have to find out for the filler tank is capacity is given that it admits six liters per minute 
First, I have to find out it in how many minutes the filler tank can fill it. Okay, the filler tanks or the filler tap, tap or filler pipes capacity sorry uh, filling capacity is to be calculated timings in times or minutes whatever times are given okay hours in hours we have to find out but uh, but admitting or filling capacity is given in minutes six liters per minute then we will convert that hours into minutes and then multiply by six we will we will have the capacity of the tank okay so let us take question here a tank tank has a leak a tank has a leak which alone which would to say which would which would empty it yeah which would it says which would empty it in eight hours okay in eight hours this is given to us in eight hours okay so it's one eight hours then it says a oh, filler tank the tap is turned the tap is turned on is turned on the tap is turned on which admits or which allows which admits 6 liters 6 liters per minute right or minute 6 liters or minute into the tank into the tank into the tank and it is now impetite and it is now or it is now impetite now still it is impetite means when filler tank is filler tap is also on right and this leak is also on then it is taking two hours or uh, only leak is taking eight hours means leak is very uh, fast or it is uh, emptying the tank faster or it takes less time but 8 hours are taken by leak only ok now emptied in 12 hours this is given to us 12 hours how many liters does the tank hold you find here you find how many liters or liters how many liters to the what does the tank hold does the tank hold right does the tank hold this is the question here now see the solution similarly as we calculated the timings when whenever the two taps are there okay one is empty time other is filling then we always find out with the difference the denominator times time taken by the filler tap to fill the tank is equal to how much 8 into 12 is it 12 given? We have 12. So what about 12 minus 8? What about the now it said more time so then it means filling is very slow. Leaking is very fast. Okay. But difference is this is the filler tanks now. Times this is 12 with the 96 divided by uh, 12 minus 8 4 it will give us 4 to the 8 and 4 to the 16 24 hours 24 hours are taken by the filler tap if it is allowed alone then it will fill the tank in 24 hours okay over the capacity then capacity we have to find out so 24 hours 
the filler tanks take filler tap takes to fill the tank but let's find the capacity therefore let me write therefore the capacity of the tank capacity of the tank is equal to this 24 hours what filler tank or filler tap is taking 24 hours but if I convert this into minutes also and it is 60 minutes because why? Because 6 liters per, lit per minute 6 liters per minute are filled in the tank by the filler tap so 6 into 6 this is liters now converted into liters 24 hours is converted into minutes because 1 hour have 1 hour has 60 minutes ok so 1 minute is taking 6 liters inside the tank so total tank capacity is this is how much let me take 6 for the 24 4 to carry 6 to the 12 and uh, 2 14 140 into 6 right this is 0 0 6 for the 24 4 to carry it's for 12 and 12 and 2 14 right and this further multiplied 6 0 0 6 over the 24 to carry this for the 24 to 26 6 to carry this for the 6 and 8 8640 liters this is the total capacity of this tank tank is holding 8640 liters of water or something it will be water ok <sighs> right whatever inside the tank is there nothing is given so even if it is water tank or whatever tank or milk tank or something is given a tank has a leak which would empty it ok nothing is given so anything it can hold right this is question number 6 this is the answer here the total capacity of the tank is 8640 liters so this is by the filler tap filler tap is taking 24 hours to fill the tank but liters being admitted by it 6, six liters per minute so in 24 hours how many liters will come inside the tank that we have just calculated 24 into 60 into 6 okay, this is the answer of question number 6 let us check question number 7 here now what is question number 7 say let me first read it and then I have to write it down Now question number 7, let us talk about what is given to us, ok, let me first, Yes, guys, let us check now what is given to us. Question number 7 says, let me check it. If two pipes function simultaneously, alright, they function simultaneously, the reservoir is filled in 12 hours, okay, so together they are taking 12 hours. So one pipe fills the reservoir in 10 hours, 10 hours faster than the other. How many hours does the faster pipe take to fill the reservoir? that is the ok so if two pipes function simultaneously one is faster other is slower ok that is given to us we let me write here if two pipes it says if two pipes function simultaneously we have function two pipes function simultaneously Simultaneously, then the reservoir is filled. Reservoir, the reservoir is filled in how many hours? 12 hours. Is filled in 12 hours. Okay. 12 hours. One pipe. 
one pipe can fill it or one point yeah fills the original boiler one pipe fills the original boiler fills the original boiler in 10 hours or in 10 hours while the other by 10 hours faster 10 hours faster than the other than the other yeah to find here then to find in how many then we have to find out how many hours does the first pipe take to find then how many hours the faster pipe takes what does take yeah how many hours the first pipe take to fill the reservoir how many hours does the how many hours this is does the faster pipe take take to fill the to fill the little boiler okay this we have to find out now solution now try to understand what the point here now we have to find out that, that there are two pipes here filling pipes mostly filling pipes are given here and both are working together and they take 12 hours together this is given to us but their timings are not given they say that one uh, yeah one pipe is working 10 hours faster than the other right or one hour suppose uh, one tap takes x hours suppose then other the slower will take the faster takes x hours then the slower will take x plus 10 hours in both in this way we will do that what is the process of doing this question here so what what the process here so x into 10x we have to multiply this was sorry x into 10x plus 10 in the numerator divided by x plus x plus 10 or 10 plus x right so in the denominator we will have 2x plus 10 in the numerator we will have multiplied x into x plus 10 to x square plus 10x it must be equal to 12 because total time is taken 12 so what the when we find the addition of the two so in the denominator we will have the addition of these two all right so when we are finding the timings of when the of the two filling taps then we multiply their timings in the numerator why because 1 upon x plus 1 upon y will give us x plus y in the numerator divided by x into y but this is the ratings that this portion of the tank will be filled just reverse this time we will get x by upon x plus y in the denominator x by multiplication in the numerator divided by x plus y this is the timings of filling the tank in the same way we will do this as we have taken that let me assume that let x hours are taken by faster pipe to fill the tank to fill the reservoir in this case reservoir okay then the slower tank uh, pipe will take x plus 10 and slower tap will take x plus 10 right so x plus 10 hours are taken by the slower tap so in this way we have to just find out that what is their total time the total times will be in this case what is that okay so this i'll take that let me take this after five minutes time okay no problem at all